I knew him as a friend. I, w- I was his patrol commander when we lost him. I was there that night in the hospital, and to speak about it personally is actually extremely difficult. You know, it's easy to say if you're a police officer, oh, you're automatically a great guy. But, you know, Joe was a, was a great man. I mean, and people always said, you know, Joe's a hero because he, he died that night. Tell you, Joe Zerba was a hero every day, every day. He cared about everyone else but himself, and he stood for justice. And to lose him was a, an unbelievable hole that will never be filled again, and I'll never forget it, not in my time, not in my life. There are three things that we know for sure at the end of this prosecution. Number one is that the defendant was completely and solely responsible for the murder of Joseph Zerba. Number two is that he had a long-standing history of mental illness. Number three is that he was high on bath salts at the time of the crime. Given all of those things, uh, this is an appropriate outcome.